to spearhead a suburban community's commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Arlington Knights now honoring those who have men and women from Illinois who lost their lives in the attacks and the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. WGN's Ben Bradley has more. I was a little bit taken back. A private moment. I've never seen it up close. In a public place. He was one of the most caring people I think I've ever met in my life. It's been 10 years since Katie Stack lost her husband, Marine Lance Corporal James Stack, in Afghanistan. Today, at the Arlington Heights Library, she often visited as a kid, the portrait of a soldier exhibit opens, reopening a flood of memories. I mean, if this doesn't give you a sentiment into our relationship, for the six weeks that he was deployed, while in Afghanistan, he wrote me 16 letters in those six weeks. We're, we're real happy it's here in his hometown. Paul and Joy Severson came face to face with this drawing of their son Paul, a Hersey High School grad killed in 2004 in Iraq. It moves you every time you see it. His is one of more than 300 images on this mobile and moving memorial. There's been displays all over the state, and we've been to several of them, from, down, from the state capitol to Rockford to downtown Chicago. He taught swimming to kids. I remember talking to his mom at, at the funeral. It started when a staffer for former Governor Pat Quinn named Cameron Schilling began making pencil drawings of the fallen as Quinn would travel the state to attend their funerals, meet their families, and celebrate their lives. The photographs are all different. Sometimes they're in military uh, uniform. Other times uh, the family wanted something that uh, was sort of captured the essence and personality of their son. The eyes speak to the soul of the person. It's a legacy that outlasted Quinn's political career, but has grown into an everlasting way to honor the fallen. I went to their funerals, I met their families, and as time went on, we decided to um, make it a, a memorial, uh, a way for all people in Illinois to see firsthand uh, the men and women of our state who answered the call to duty and volunteered to go and defend democracy. This is a very moving, powerful exhibit, and each of these drawings really showcases a life that uh, has been given for our country and for our freedom. He would always come home, pick her up, and immediately just love on her and kiss her. And for Katie Stack, whose daughter was just one at the time, the exhibit is a reminder that time passes, but love does not fade. It's really humbling and heartwarming knowing that they are still cared for and their sacrifices didn't go unnoticed. Ben Bradley, WGN News. Stay with WGN as we mark 20 years since the September 11th attacks. We will bring you a series of live reports from New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania throughout our newscasts. And this weekend, we invite you to watch our WGN News special, Chicago Remembers 9-11, with stories from families of the fallen and how they continue to honor their loved ones today. That special begins at 6.30 Saturday night. Our special coverage